I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear. <clears throat> right about this time we have the sweet potato. I have not um, dug it out yet. As you can see <clears throat> the leaves are starting to get a little crispified by the by the frost. We've had a couple of frosts now but they've been light. So before this frosts over completely I am going to show you guys how I cook these leaves. They're edible. <clears throat> so I'm gonna harvest some and show you how to cook them. To harvest them, all you do is snap them off. I like to cut off that, that edge part because it's a little thick. You can do that now or you can do that with scissors later. So I just go around and harvest them and like this. I'll do more off camera and then I will get to the cooking video. Today we're going to be cooking up some sweet potato greens. So sweet potato greens are edible. I've just washed a bunch of these and uh, we are going to be eating them. So let me put the tripod back where it's supposed to be and we can uh, cook it together. So I have in here some sesame oil, which is a little too hot. But that's okay. So sesame oil, and I am putting in some minced garlic. Right now I'm using some canned minced garlic because that's he's more easily accessible right now. So I put that in. Yeah, that's too hot. Don't do it that hot. And I'm also going to put in some mushrooms. Um, it's good if you can keep your cuts uh, the same. It doesn't matter if it's thick or thin as long as it's the same because then they'll cook the same. Um, so you won't end up with some that are not cooked and some that are, are cooked all the way through. So that's how I start and I use that seasoning first. I cook this down first. It just happens to be what I like in my in my greens. I'm going to add a little bit of salt as well. And I mean a little bit, I mean a little bit. Not like all those cooking shows. So I'm going to put a lid on this and let this cook. I have it on medium. This is cast iron. So your, your own stove is going to be different. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it'll be the same. But we're going to let that cook. And I'll tell you how long when it's done. It's only going to be like a couple minutes. Alright. So I'm starting to smell them. A minute in. Oh, well, that's actually good. About a minute is right. Now, actually, I guess we're at two minutes. So, two minutes for the mushrooms to be cooked. Um, next step is to take the greens. I need a place to put these. Next up is to take your greens, and I like to cut them with scissors um, into smaller pieces. And this is going to cook down just like a collard does, collard green. It's going to be, um, or like a spinach. It's not strong tasting or anything. You could add lemon juice if you wanted at the very end. I'm not going to. So, it's going to look like a lot more than what it's going to look like when it's done. And for these, I've, well, let's get a better example of that. I have pulled out that centerpiece, that's the hard part. It's not going to be too hard if you cook it that way, you know, with it in there, but 
um, it'll have a better consistency uh, throughout. You know, you won't have different textures if you take that out. So I've done that on all these leaves. So basically what you're ending up doing is we're going to put the lid back on this and it's going to steam. We're going to mix it up and it's going to steam. And then when it's almost done, I'm going to come back in and put on some peppers on top. And that will give it an extra kick. You don't need to add peppers if you don't want to. You can add whatever you want. So those are the peppers I'm going to add. I believe they're called Sugar Rush Red. I'm not sure. They're seeds from something I saved last year. Alright, let's put this, mix it up, and get a good look at that and see, see what it looks like, how big it is. And you'll see um, in a couple minutes it'll be much smaller. So I'll keep track of time. All right, it's been three minutes and that's basically done. I'm gonna give it a stir. Actually, it is done. And you can see how much that's reduced. But I am going to add these peppers. The scissors are your friend in the kitchen. We don't take out seeds. So if you are not frosted to the point of freezing yet and you want to experiment with some sweet potato greens, go for it. They cook up like, like spinach cooks, so any, any recipe you use spinach in, you could likely use it in. I have a bunch of these dried from last year um, that I just decided to dry for soups and then I haven't actually used them yet. For soups so I can't tell you how how well that goes but you can blend them up for green powder you can dry them you can use them fresh you can juice them you can do all sorts of stuff with them So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to close this up just in, well actually I don't think I'm going to close it up. Sometimes I close up if they are not cooked yet, but these look quite cooked. So, I'm just going to mix it up so that these peppers get heated through. And that is basically it. have a very festive look. And there is your nice side to any meal. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your sweet potato greens. So enjoy growing your sweet potatoes and enjoy eating it too and eat the greens. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and share it with someone who has sweet potatoes. Have a good one.